Everybody wants to be great until they find out what they have to do to become great. And what we have, the coaching staff, have to do is define what you have to do to become great. And then you got to do it. Don't be who you are. Be who you want to be and play like it. And, you know, we're at the stage of the season and we are who we are now, so let's, let's be great. I think not having a senior is a bit of a double-edged sword. And there's bad to it and there's good to it. The good is that that road trip, I think we survived it because we have a future. Because this year when we came off it, we couldn't win the championship anymore. And a lot of teams, especially with seniors, that they could go south then, you know, because that is the motivating factor. And they could move on to their next stage of their career before their career is over. You see that happen a lot. We were disappointed because we played well in, in our first two games against Wright State. Uh, we probably played probably one of our better first halves, uh, but then we didn't show up in the second half against Northern Kentucky. Uh, we played a, a very good first half, and in both of those games, we took halftime leads uh, in the intermission. Uh, but again, in the second half against Northern Kentucky, uh, we didn't play as well as we would have liked. We knew we had to come closer as a team and as a brotherhood. So I think sitting and talking to each other and figuring out what our problems was together was a help. What they did first was self-reflect and seeing what, what they didn't do correct that contributed to us, you know, falling apart on the road. I think our mindset was, let's get back to work, you know. You know, this this conference, you know, this profession, like, you really can't dwell on the past. Like, you got to learn what you can and keep it moving. I wanted to make sure we could prepare ourselves as much as possible for the conference tournament and to secure a home game for the first round. The end of that road trip, we went to Milwaukee, and, and the whole season, the balance of the season was on the line. And we played one of our best games on the road. And you see those guys even come together like, it's us, let's go, man. We, gotta, we have to do it, you know what I mean? We have to step out there and do it. Anything can be said in this huddle, but when we cross back over that line, it's up to us to do it. And I've heard that more in these past few games than I've heard in my two years. And so from there on out, our focus just amplified by 10, and we just stayed focused, kept, uh, you know, the intensity in practices was amplified too. We just kept practicing harder and harder each day, and then Detroit came to us, and then that's when it was game on. You got a team in UAD that's 7-8 in the league, got Oakland at 8-7. and seven. These guys are playing for home court advantage in the quarterfinals of the Horizon League Tournament, and both teams are going to come out and be real scrappy today. Darian King with the jump stop, pulls up, mid-range jump shot good. Dumps it off, Xavier Hill Mays makes the catch. Threading the needle, though, was Norris. Norris, long three. Of course, great Norris. And he backs in one more time, turns again, shot, good. Layup good with the left hand by Harrison Curry. This is it. You're playing for something. You've got a full house at home. You've worked your whole life for this. Let's play with confidence. Believe in yourself, all right? Let's go. Xavier Hill Mays with a two-handed power move in the paint. Here's Antoine Davis around his screen, and he buries that three. Cumberland for three. He's made one in every game this year, and he does it again. Norris top of the key from three, of course. Great Norris may never miss again. <laughs> and the Golden Grizzlies victorious in the Metro Series rivalry. Once again, Golden Grizzlies now 10-2 since they came to the Horizon League. That ain't easy to go out there, especially the way we've played at home, to play in front of an all-time record crowd with the expectations that you're supposed to win, all right, and to do it and do it the way we did. Really proud of you guys. I'm really, really proud of you. I'm really proud of the way you played, okay? All right. Bigs on three. One, two, three. Bigs.
at Ascension, our care teams listen to you as a woman and an expecting mom. Whether it's your first child or your next, our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists take the time to understand the care you need, including special care. Then we create an experience that's right for you and her, or him, or both. Visit ascensionmibaby.com. As an Oakland University Credit Union member, you can have access to your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today. Good to see Baba Tunde get the basketball inside. Big fella literally is the epitome of a, of a gentle giant, Neil. Well, Tony Jones was at an AAU event in Milwaukee, and he was there to watch a kid play, and all of a sudden he saw this big guy. We learned that, you know, here's a kid who came over from overseas. He's at a small Christian school. He's an unbelievable kid with a great background has a good work ethic, and a lot of times that's a big question you have when you, when you don't know them, what their work ethic is. And, and he's a kid that's never been coached. I'm Nigerian. Close to four years ago, I had the scholarship to you know, come here. I went to uh, Solid Rock Academy in Atlanta. We played in a, in a small conference, and it wasn't really much to do because like, I was the biggest kid. All I had to do was just put my hands up, and it's a block. All I had to do was just go up straight, and it's a rebound. So. Uh, it wasn't so much of a competition for me. I didn't feel like I was getting a competition. We knew uh, that we were going to have to develop him into the type of player uh, that will be serviceable in the Horizon League. We're never going to be able to secure the talents of an individual with that size, with that girth, with that massive body, with a complete game. Those type of guys, him being from Atlanta, is going to go to Georgia. He's going to go to Georgia Tech. I wanted, I wanted to coach him. I wanted to see what happens to him. The first practice that I had with him, I said, okay, I want you at the elbow. And he looked at me, he didn't even know what the elbow was. You know, he, he's a young man that just didn't know the game. Uh, he probably should have played football instead of basketball. He was an all-state football player. The first month, it was tough. Because I wasn't used to having a coach who would, you know, be on me. But then, like, I used to feel so depressed, so sad. Then I talked to my dad, like, oh my God, my coach is so tough. But then he tells me, like, if my coach is actually tough on me, that means he really likes me. Because if he's not saying nothing to me, he doesn't care. Coming here, I was uh, introduced to this uh, Nigerian who actually went here, Shane Lawal. Uh, so he gave me a closer insight of what Oakland was with Coach Cove. And I felt like, okay, this is where I should be. Because everybody was, you know, Great, so I feel like okay, this, this is home. And I remember one of the first practices uh, during preseason, I watch it, and uh, he was raw. I mean, you could see that there was a lot of talent there, but the, the key was he was coachable, and he put forth the effort, and clearly he's put in the work. And every day I practice was a, a step closer to where I needed to be, and you know, going against a player like X every day is crazy, because X is a player with uh, a million moves on just one possession. He was something coming in, you know, physical guy, big. He thought he could just come in here and move us around and get his way. He learned that quickly, you know what I'm saying? That's not how things go. He couldn't use his left hand when he first got here. Now he's over here using both hands. He likes to steal my moves, but you know what I'm saying? You can replicate it, but you can't duplicate it. But um, I think his progress along this year has been tremendous. It's been as far of a jump as, I, as I've seen since I've been at Oakland and a player individually. He makes X better. He definitely makes X better because if you look at our lineup and you look at our team, if Babatunde is not on the floor in practice, who can stop X as far as strength? So he like he gets under X skin and he go he he defends him, he fouls him, he beats him up. But like I told X, this is what you have to be ready for come the game time. His performance, his like knowledge of basketball is already like accelerating so fast that two years from now, a year from now, he's gonna be 
one heck of a player and uh, really proud of him actually as a younger brother. And what people don't see is he's always working after practice or on days off, so he's always working trying to get better. He gives it all every day to make us better as a team. And on the bench, he's just, he's a great guy. He supports us. He's always into the game. And by the time his number is called on, he's going to be ready. Throws it to Baba Tunde, who scores it off the window. And, and this crowd erupts. They, he's, he's a fan favorite. They love seeing Baba Tunde Sawundi. Free pizza for the Golden Grizzlies fans. Not only was it his first basket, it got everybody pizza. So that was that was huge. You know, the, all the crowd was going crazy because you know, 85 points is free pizza. <laughs> it was amazing. I didn't know I actually did that. Like it was after the game, and everybody was telling me, "Oh, you did this, you did that." I'm like, oh, really? Oh, I feel blessed. <laughs> it, it was a good feeling. When my hair gets too long, I lose my edge. But when my cut's right, I'm right. I'm back to being me. My dimples activate. My cleft chin becomes cleftier. I get a twinkle on my tooth, and I speak fluent French. Garbage, chaise lounge, mayonnaise. Au revoir. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Compassionate Personalized Care has a new name. St. John Providence is now known as Ascension. Though the signs on our buildings are changing, Ascension caregivers have been here all along. Only now your doctors, clinics, and hospitals are connected to experts and specialists across the state and the country. So you are able to find the care you need, when and where you need it. That's more than 100 years of history rolled into one exciting new beginning. We are Ascension. In-house training. Full-time administrative staff. Professional photography. All this at no cost to the agent. Real Team Real Estate, the official real estate provider for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Curry has been so helpful to me because I practice on the sideline. You know, he's somebody who's always in my ear, you know, tell me, oh, do this, do that, watch it, do this. And I actually listen to him and he helps me on my defense. I can consider Corey like a little brother, but when you got somebody who's not even from the Oakland culture, but he came right in and bought into the culture, and you could never tell anybody that Corey didn't go to Oakland University because they wouldn't believe it because he he acts and and walks the Oakland culture every day. When he first came, I was like, yeah, there's a former Oakland University men's basketball student athlete that's going to be a GA here, which is great. I mean, it's that's what you typically see, and and then I heard his story, what he had done, and to go from just recently playing at another school and now fully embracing what Coach Campy wants to accomplish, what the program's all about, and what it means to him. He, in a short time, was bleeding that black and gold. I went to Renaissance High School in Detroit. Uh, after that, I played four years there at Renaissance. Then I went to Albion College. When I was a little kid, I used to hear about Oakland all the time and Coach Campy. I was kind of a defensive-minded guy, and with Coach Campy, he's offense known for high, high-scoring teams. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to learn how to learn more about offense from Coach Campy, and then hopefully I could one day be a head coach somewhere. Well, Corey is an old school graduate assistant. Corey is a kid who asks questions, soaks up everything he can soak up. The players love him, they listen to him, but more importantly, he knows his role. Corey's always trying to help us off the court, just getting extra shots up or what you need to do better or trying to give you film, to see what you need to do better there. So he's always helpful around like that. Corey Wheeler, I mean, when you mention his name, you know, I just smile. I, I, I just love the kid. He's very opinionated, uh, very intelligent. 
uh, basketball savvy, uh, and his future uh, is bright. Stays motivating the players. He sometimes he motivates the coaches as well, and others. Uh, he just he stays talking. He's never never lack of energy. Corey, he's always into it, and he's always motivating guys to be better. Always pushing us. Like that's what a coach needs to do. Always push his players to be better, and so that is a great you know coaching aspect he has, and always always being confident in himself and his players. I feel like I gained. 10 new brothers with the players and then with the support staff, all the managers and our video coordinator and Sarah and Coach Campy and all the coaches. They feel like I'm part of the family now. I've had a lot of people come through my program that have become really good coaches outside, away from Oakland, and he's going to be one. we got to get him a ring. He's got this year and next year, and then he's on his way, so we got to get him a ring. As Oakland climbs over the 85-point mark, and that is something they have done a lot as of late. Their last three games, 89 points, 95 points, and 86 points as the buzzer sounds and the Golden Grizzlies get a huge win over UIC. And they went a long way in going towards a home game in the first round of the Horizon League tournament. We came home and we played outstanding against Detroit. Uh, we played with great confidence and belief in ourselves, and that's where this team's at right now. For us, to continue that, we have to just believe that we are. And we did that against UIC, and now we've got a home court in the conference tournament, and that was the goal when the season started. It's gonna be fun. Let's buckle up our seat belts and let's get ready to play. Live from the arena on campus at Oakland University, it's time for the Horizon League quarterfinals. It's the Oakland Golden Grizzlies, 11 and seven in conference and the three seed in the tournament, taking on the Youngstown State Penguins. They are eight and 10 and the six seed. Oakland wins the opening tip and here we go. Maddox with six on the ticker, launches from three and it's three nothing Oakland. Top of the key, Brechtig, three ball is good. Cumberland left side, three pointer on the way, got it. Tough drive, Quisenberry, layup is good. It's an Oakland one point lead. During this run, we've been a second half team. We've been a team that's pulled away in the second half. So we're right where we need to be. But we gotta get, come out and get stops like we did at the beginning of the game. He drives left side and it's taken away. Hill Mays blocked the shot. Top of the key, three ball. Cumberland is good. Down low, Hill Mays lays it in. But Simmons on the break, leaves it for Bohannon who lays it up and in. Maddox with the steal. Maddox into the backcourt, slams it home. Really, really pleased with this. Really pleased with that. They played really good. I give them a lot of credit too. They played really good. But we played great, guys. Northern Kentucky won. We got Northern Kentucky. A couple guys didn't play tonight. A couple guys didn't play anywhere near as much as they played. That's because of the game it was. We're a team, all 10 of us. We got to be prepped. We got to be prepared. We got to get ready. And you got to be ready to be called. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. With an Oakland University Credit Union account, you can access your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today. Schedule online, anytime. Now you can easily schedule an appointment with Ascension Care Teams at St. John Providence and Ascension Crittenden. No matter where you are or what you're up to. If you're a new patient or if you've been here before, we have appointments available at locations near you. Find your appointment online, anytime at GetAscensionCareSEMI.com. When my hair is too long, I don't feel right. 
But when I get a cut, I'm me again, only better. My tattoo gets feistier. My crazy eye snaps to attention. I become my own Wi-Fi hotspot. I just downloaded the entire internet. And trust falls? They don't even scare me anymore. That pomade really broke my fall. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great clips, it's gonna be great. My locker room feels joyous. Guys are having fun. Guys are showing up to practice with that energy, like I said, maybe a couple episodes ago. It's different when you're winning and you come to practice with energy. I mean, coach even comes to practice with a different bounce in his step. We all do. So now we're all feeding off of one another. I truly believe we got a great shot. We have a great shot to get to the NCAA tournament. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an amazing story. When you were reading this book and you were in some of the middle chapters, you kind of were wondering, man, what is this going to turn out to be like? But now we, we're to those finishing chapters, and it, it looks like this is a, a real good book to read. Good evening, everybody, and welcome inside Little Caesars Arena. It's Motor City Madness time. It's March Madness time. The name of the game is to survive and advance. Every single weight that's lifted, every single sprint that's ran, every airplane trip, hotel stay, everything you've done to this point takes you to this moment. But none of that matters now. This next 40 minutes will tell the entire story of how the season goes. The ball is in the air, Brechtin controls a tip, and away we go at Little Caesars Arena. Javon Cumberland, mid-range jump shot. He fills it up from just outside the right elbow. Down low, Xavier Hill Mays. Jams it through with two hands. The front's not working in the post. The three is hit by Dan Taz Walton. 13 to five, Oakland, they have it. Cumberland, 4-3, oh, of course! Right side three, Sharp buried it. Come on, this is what we wanted. This is what we've worked for. This is where, right where we're at. We're playing good. We just made a couple mistakes. Let them back and make, give them a chance to think they can win. That's all right. We're going to go slam the door on them right now. Brechting makes the catch and spins on the left block and scores it off the window. To the rim, and McDonald will lay it up and in. Here's Tate on the hesitation. Her shot off the glass is good. And Bolt with an offensive rebound puts it back up and in. Got to get the miss. Get the stop. Get the stop. McDonald, top of the key, 4 3. Too strong. Eight point NKU lead. They need a basket right here. Cumberland, step back, 4 3. Get in there, and it does. Maddox with the rebound, puts it back wow. up, and in. we're tied. 53.7 left. Top of the key, Cumberland, shot clock to five. Floater in the lane, won't go, but a foul is called. Like a free throw good from Cumberland, 63-61 Oakland. Anything in here, don't foul. Don't give them an and one to beat us. If they make it, we go to overtime, we beat them in overtime. The Norse inbound, here comes Tate with it. Life's on the line. McDonald left side three and the win. He got it. And the player of the year, Drew McDonald, comes through. And Northern Kentucky gets the win 64 63. I feel bad for you guys. I feel really bad for you. What a hell of a comeback. You played a hell of a game. You know, the game was like our season. You know, we started strong, we did everything right, then we got away from who we are and went back to who we were. And then we righted the ship, we made big shots, we got ourselves back in the game. And then, who knows, you know, he, he throws one in. Ah, damn, guys. I don't want it then. 
you know, we've got a lot of time left together and a lot of goals out there still that we can accomplish if we understand what's happening to us and learn from it. As the season progresses, we learn how to face adversity. We learn how to deal with the bad times, deal with the good times, and we learn how to move on from situations that, that obviously went in our favor. Next year, nobody's leaving. We're just adding to this family. Next year, it's going to be another great story because it's still going to be the same team, just with a couple more guys added to it. There were chapters written before us, there's chapters written this year, and there's going to be chapters written in, in subsequent years. And so you write it the best you can, you look at it, you hope you enjoyed what was written, but you always know there's another chapter to be written next year and years, uh, and years beyond, which is what makes athletics to me such an exciting uh, enterprise and endeavor because there's always hope, there's always opportunity, and there's always next year to write something different. It's an exciting future, that's for sure. We're getting better right now, which means by the time next year comes around, we could be pretty dangerous. This isn't the end, you know? Instead of a, uh, this is the end, somebody's leaving, we have to start over, we have to regroup. This is more of a, uh, to be continued. At Ascension, our care teams listen to and get to know you and your child. Then we create a personalized pediatric experience that's right for you both. Our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists deliver the care you need, even when it's special care. Because families come to us for many needs, from many places, in many sizes. Visit ascension.org Michigan.